and that also answers the the saying of uh, the women be more attached than the men. Science is helping back that up as well. So now let's step away from science and let's see what God has to say about lust or what the Bible says about lust. So we're going to start here at Genesis 2.24 because it's very simple. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and his mother and be joined to his wife and they shall become one flesh. When he says one flesh, you know, that's what I believe sex is, right? Because you have to wait until sex to have, I mean, wait until marriage to have sex. So since you have to wait till marriage to have sex, once you become one flesh by having sex, that's where the chemicals and hormones come in at. Not chemicals, but hormones. That's where that come into effect because it's deeper than just, oh, I'm married to this person and now I had sex with them and we're one flesh. No, you will become one flesh with your bodies on not just the outside, but the inside as well. 